First you listen and you learn and you watch and you wait your opportunity. And then you, when you're given an opportunity, you do the best you possibly can with that opportunity. It's easy to be successful when all the times are good. It's when the times are not good. And how do you bridge that to when the times start getting good again? And I believe, you know, if you apply yourself, the American dream is possible for anybody today. My name is Howard Smith. I'm president of the Wilson by Hannon Lock Company, Marion, Ohio. My wife's grandfather, Mr. Wilson by Hannon Toy, came through here on a troop train, stopped at a canteen stop, and remember the friendliness of the people in Marion. So here is where we came in 1926, and here's where we are today, almost 100 years later, with about 70 employees making padlocks that are used all over the world. And we're a seven generation family business and very proud to be 100% American made. Went to high school in Dayton, Ohio, and about 95% of my high school class goes on to college. So my parents are going crazy, you know, at the end of the whole situation. All my friends are enrolled somewhere, you know, and, and where, where's my son gonna go? What's, you know? And Hill still, with the conservative values and the student guide, did this ring a bell, it's beautiful, and they just said, this is where we want you to go. I met my wife my third week at school. Her great-great-grandfather started the company in Brooklyn, New York in 1860, with his son Todd in a shed behind their house. So she didn't want to be in the business, she wanted to be part of the business. And so she was on the board of directors. You know, she was the guidance counselor, Mary Catholic, for over 30 years. She loved her school, she loved her community, she loved this, this company. And people just loved Pam. She was kind, loving, um, just a big heart. You know, it was always a place for any student to come to Pam and talk to, to her about any situation. And her passion for Wilson Mahana Company was powerful and infectious, and all, everybody knew how much she loved this place. And she built that legacy with my two daughters. And sadly, she, was, she passed away, and after 42 years of marriage, what better way could she carry on her memory than something she had so much pride in, you know, in this company? We make over 5,000 locks a day. When most all it's a job shop. It's all made to order the exact specification of our customers. There's no lock manufacturer like us in America today. They can do the things we can do with the tolerance we can do. So I'm proud of that. Proud that we're made in this country. Proud that you know, the symbol, of, like Hill still talks about, you know, the conservative values and their Christian attitude. That's why we run our business with a Christian attitude and, and the belief in the Constitution. Hillsdale taught me to be a good corporate citizen. I want to give back. I want a place where my daughters can raise their family. I want a place where my, you know, my, my employees can feel good about themselves. When you hire people, when you bring people from other parts of the country, are you going to bring them to some place they don't want to live? Hillsdale just is that signpost, that, that guidepost. Hang, you know, the telling us how this is the best way to do things. I, I think I said before, you know, the American dream is alive and well in this country. And I just want to be an example. We're not just a business, we're a human business with human people who care with respect and dignity, you know, of each other and building a culture that's, you know, it's, it's, it's powerful. People walk through our factory and say, gee whiz, I mean, everybody has a good attitude. They like what they do, they're proud of this company. Well, it's creating a corporate culture that allows people to grow and be something and be part of that, of a larger part of something than just themselves. It's not just me, it's, it's all the people that surround me, all the people that have made this a great company. You know, I, I couldn't do without all the people and, and so I do. When I go to the factory every single day, I thank our employees, thank you very much.